Hello everyone, welcome to my SQL tutorial series. This is a three part video series where I'm going to teach you about beginner MySQL, intermediate MySQL and advanced MySQL. This is completely practical oriented course and if you don't have any skill in SQL or if you are just trying to build your expertise in SQL, this is going to be very helpful. And MySQL is a tool which we are going to use uh, practically to learn about this tool and writing queries and everything of all about MySQL. This is very important. And today is the first video in this series where I'll be going to help you to install MySQL Workbench uh, and then creating database so that we can get started to write some queries. So let's get started. To get started with downloading uh, MySQL Workbench uh, or the server, we just need to go to this website, which is available here. And uh, this is available in the video description as well. Uh, once you go into this website, uh, you will be seeing the MySQL installer, uh, which is a version and the operating system. So based on your uh, operating system, uh, you can choose my, I am having a Microsoft Windows, so it is showing option here as a Microsoft Windows. If you have something else, then you can just select that operating system. There are two options available. Uh, so this is having a smaller size and this is a bigger size one. So this is going to be actually works uh, opening in the browser once we download and then uh, keep downloading it from the net. So instead of that, just uh, use this uh, as an installer on our local uh, system. And once you click on this download, uh, you will get on a screen where it will ask for login or sign up. So don't uh, choose any of this. Just uh, click on this no thanks. Just start my download. Once you do this, uh, you will see uh, this option which is available here. It is getting uh, downloaded and it will take a couple of minutes, I guess, to download it. And once we download, uh, download gets completed, you can just uh, click on it. And uh, uh, so basically I have just double clicked on it uh, and it will be going to be the installer will be going to open in uh, once uh, the download gets completed. Now, uh, once uh, this is the installer screen where you will see different uh, setup type uh, server only so this this will just install the mysql server there is just a client pool or custom so whatever uh, we need or whatever as per uh, whatever our requirement is we can choose any of them but let's try to uh, because we just don't want to uh, server or we just don't want to have a client we need both so this custom will give an option to select uh, which product we would like to install. So just click on next and you will see uh, three options here. So the first one is the MySQL server. And uh, uh, you we, we definitely need uh, this SQL server because uh, if, uh, if you don't have a server, then we will not able to run the query. So just select this, just expand this and click on this arrow so that it will come at uh, right side products to be installed. Uh, applications is also MySQL Workbench is there, uh, which is we needed and just um, select this as well because this is the uh, interface which we are going to write the queries uh, in MySQL. So select this. Uh, there are other options like uh, MySQL uh, shell and router, but um, those who are going to use the command line like shell scripting kind of thing, so they can use this MySQL, but we don't need it. I'm not going to select it. Documentation, if you want, you can select. Otherwise, uh, just uh, leave it. For now, I'm just select, going to select these two and just clicking on the uh, next. So uh, we are go getting the two options of ready to install for MySQL work, um, MySQL server and MySQL Workbench. So just click on this execute option here. One by one, uh, it will uh, install. So this is uh, installation. You can see as complete for both of them. Just click on next now. And once it is installed, we need to just uh, configure it as well. So ready to configure, uh, don't need to do anything. So it will uh, do it automatically. Just click on next and uh, we will see uh, some of the options available like port number, TCP IP. So we don't need to do uh, any changes here. Just click on next. And uh, then authentication method is something which is we need to provide. Whenever we are going to use any database, so we Whenever we are going to log into my SQL Workbench, uh, we are going to use my authentication method. So use a strong password is the recommendation here. So we just we are just giving uh, going to give the password. So this is something which is we uh, as per uh, your choice, you can select one of the 
password uh, which is uh, we can use and uh, it will show the strength as well so uh, i have given one password as per my choice and then um, clicking on next uh, so windows service name mysql 80 see this is something which is we can um, uh, keep uh, the same though no need to change click on next and um, uh, some uh, server file permissions uh, we need to grant full access uh, to the users running on the windows service so we don't need uh, any restrictions on any of the users so just keep uh, the default option available uh, click on next and then we will uh, get some steps of uh, configuration uh, server so just click on execute now and one by one all the steps will be uh, completed we'll wait for it to complete so everything is completed here as uh, you can see a green tick mark on which step so just click on finish here so we are done with the configuration of this uh, sql server uh, now um, the installation procedure is completed we if you want to see the log you can see but uh, it's not necessary start my sql workbench after setup so this is something with the workbench uh, we are going to open it so just keep that check and click on finish so this is the mysql workbench uh, which is uh, open now and uh, you can see some main options which is available connect to database and everything but uh, we do have some connections uh, local local instance connections so which is uh, we can connect and just click on it and uh, remember that password which you have given while uh, installing the mysql server so same password you need to give it here uh, so that um, you can uh, use it you, if you want to save it or if you want to keep uh, giving the password every time uh, just to uncheck it uh, so click on ok now here yeah, once you click on ok um, uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, this new screen will come up here uh, now on left side uh, you will see different uh, uh, tables which is available uh, sys is the default uh, which is available uh, some views store procedure don't worry about all these things so we are going to learn uh, this later uh, but just try to understand this interface of this uh, mysql workbench because this is somewhere something which is we are going to use it going forward to write the queries uh, so this database and all uh, other things are here uh, so many things which are available here and uh, something which is uh, more uh, like uh, suppose uh, let's say if i wanted to open the table so select if you wanted to say see some of the data available in the table so this is this config is a table which is available I mean, this is a system table which is available and it does have some records in it and this is the uh, database uh, so this way uh, this is the options available and uh, we are not going to use this table as a part of this but we are going to create a separate database so this is the query and if you try to uh, see uh, this uh, plus icon uh, so if you open this then the new editor will open uh, if we open a script file in new query tab so we can just uh, uh, open um, a file from our local system and get the uh, files here and uh, then we are going to create a database uh, which is available and uh, for that we are going to click on here so from the desktop we are going to uh, use uh, this query files uh, so i do have uh, queries written uh, for creating a database and i'm just going to uh, open it now uh, what these uh, queries are doing like we are just creating one uh, database which is called as a supply and logistics so because uh, whatever the queries which we wanted to write it go, going forward uh, whatever we wanted to learn so we are going to use uh, these sample tables and we are going to try to uh, learn uh, from this table so this is something which is we are creating a database just don't worry about all these commands which are written here uh, this is just basically creating a database of supply and logistic uh, see, so this is a sample database which i am crea uh, creating uh, which has some tables so i am creating one employee de demographic table employee salary and adding some uh, columns in it and then uh, inserting some uh, data in it so this is something which is i am doing and uh, then uh, we are going to 
uh, inserting data in the employee salary table. There is a supply department uh, table, supply uh, department table. We are inserting some data. So this is something which is we are doing uh, tables we are creating and uh, uh, trying to create a database so that we can uh, get uh, ready for writing our beginner SQL uh, queries. Uh, so this is something which is uh, uh, if we uh, use this, then uh, suppose my cursor is here and if I am selecting here or uh, whatever it is. So if I use this, then only selected query will be executed. Or if I use the um, cursor here, uh, like on the first line, then below this, whatever it is available. So that's something which is uh, everything will be uh, executed. So yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm just trying to execute all these commands one by one. Uh, so this will be going to create our database. So just uh, trying to click on here. And once uh, uh, I'm executing this, uh, you will see what are the options available. Uh, or what are the steps of this? Uh, so just I'm, I don't want this screen. Uh, so I am just flipping. so now you can see uh, this um, is a warning and then probably uh, let me try to execute this after that. So everything will be getting executed here. Uh, so so. I have executed this with clicking on this so that um, so what I have done is I have just executed this query with the help of this command which is nothing but uh, if you click on this then uh, everything all these queries which are written here uh, it will be executed so you can see uh, here uh, you can see uh, uh, oh, this is a warning don't worry about that because we didn't have any database all there available so uh, the dot drop command didn't work but uh, you can see create database. So this is one row affected and other things. Uh, so uh, you can see everything is completed successfully as a green tick mark here. And we, we, we are going to see it here. Uh, uh, we, uh, we will just refresh it. And now you can see our supply and logistics uh, database is created. And we do have these uh, three tables which are uh, getting uh, created. And if I try to open this as well, select rows limit uh, 1000. So this is something which is got open, uh, which is available here. And uh, this is nothing but uh, select uh, star is something which is get everything out of the table. Form is something which is from where supply and logistic is the database. And out of that, uh, this is the table. From this table, get everything. So, and you can see this is the a screen which is uh, giving all the results uh, available uh, here. Uh, so uh, this is uh, something which is we are going to see. Now uh, the next thing which we are going to see is some uh, from the next video we will try to understand more about this SQL queries uh, from how to write, how to create tables and many other things. I hope uh, you have followed me along and uh, if you have any questions please in the comment section.